It's Thursday, December 26th. Ho, ho, ho. Hope Santa was good, good, good to you, you, you. And yes, if you were wondering, Majana and I did have dinner at the Chinese buffet last night after a great hike. Okay, so let's talk about what's going on because now things get kind of interesting ahead of the next big date to lock into our minds. Well, we have one in between, but January 12th, that's Saturn Pluto. Now, again, I'm going to say, I don't think, and especially as I've perused the chart again before that aspect leading up to it, the days ahead of it, I don't think that there's necessarily going to be anything that happens on January 12th. The whole Saturn-Pluto concept, when you go back and look at history, and I've been saying this since the very beginning, is that this is a macro event, meaning that there's a buildup to it. We've been in that. For those of you who have had all of the effects of it already, and it will tail off. And I think one of the other biggest things about Saturn-Pluto is that it's almost like the domino trip, you know, where you click the domino and but da 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 of those two planets moving into Aquarius. And that's going to take time. So January 12th itself may just be very anticlimactic. And you might be thinking, what is going on? It's kind of like a Saturn return. Whenever Saturn re- comes around your chart every 28 and a half years, uh, unless you're just watching the aspects, which very few people do, you don't know when the actual aspect of Saturn return happens. It's a periodic thing. But as you look back or you're aware, if you're in it, if you're following astrology, you know that there's about a three-year band of time that those kinds of realignments can happen. And I think that's more of what we're dealing with here. However, it's very interesting in the chart because the next big event really is going to be January 10th. And that's when the moon has traveled over to the other side of the chart and will be in Cancer and we get a lunar eclipse. That one is going to be a little bit more grumpy because the moon is over there on the other side of all of that energy in um in Capricorn. So it will be opposite the sun, obviously, and it will be opposite Mercury, which will be at the same degree as the sun, which is 20 degrees. And then it will be opposite Saturn Pluto at 22. So you're going to have the sun and Mercury at 20 degrees Capricorn, Saturn Pluto at 22, and the moon opposite in Cancer. So if we read any headlines, either corporately in the world, in the country where you live, or in your life, it would be more to me from that than it would be from Saturn-Pluto conjunct on the 12th, two days later. And actually, the chart gets eerily quiet between now and then. So it's almost as though the heavens are just quieting down and bowing down to this incredible event. Now, Let's just do a quick review because it's been a while since I've done this. Some of you are new listeners to the podcast. Welcome in, by the way. And let's just talk about Saturn-Pluto for a second. So because Saturn takes 248 years to go around the astrological wheel, so obviously for it to have shown up in Capricorn, for Pluto to have been in Capricorn, which is, is it has been for the last good little while, um, has not happened for 250 years. Now, when we roll the calendar back, so let's let's go back and see what has happened the last time that took place. Uh, we can put a marker at the year 1770. And of course, that was the beginning of the American Revolutionary War, which of course led to the Declaration of Independence, which led to about six years of more war as they fought it out, fought for independence, fought for freedom from the, from the crown. And from 1776 to about 1782, and then it was kind of all clear, okay, you're independent, go build a country, good luck. That all happened under just Pluto being in Capricorn, not Saturn. Where was Saturn? It was off in Leo. It was on the other side of the chart. So these two weren't even together then. That, to me, underscores the incredible power of these transformational planets being in Saturn's home sign of Capricorn. 
All right, so when was the last time that Saturn and Pluto were together in Capricorn? We have to go back to the year 1518, and that's the year that Martin Luther nailed his 95 points of thesis document to the door of the Catholic Church and basically told Rome that we're not going to be under your subject control anymore. Sound familiar? (laughs) It's the same thing that the American patriots did to the British crown that the uh, Protestant movement leaders did to the Catholic Church. They said, we're, we're anticipating freedom. So see, these are Aquarian things, much more so than, than Capricorn things. They are Capricorn in the, in the sense that they're a foundation of a change. But remember, both of these planets move into Aquarius, and that's where, as this plays out over time, we will be in that energy as well. So this is this is, like I say, just the trip of a domino. I mean, this is a process. Go back before that, just a real quick trip back to 1284 was the last time that Saturn and Pluto were conjunct in Capricorn. And that basically was uh, the beginning of a 30-year transition from the Dark Ages to the Renaissance period. So that one took a lot of time, and there were a lot of wars, and again, especially It's interesting that Rome has kind of been uh, a focal point of these things. I don't think that will be now, obviously. That was then. That was the historic focal point of Europe. Nonetheless, this formation shakes things up, and there will be a transition to something new. And I've kind of wondered if this would not indicate a continuation of what was started in 1518 under Martin Luther, religious freedom, spiritual awakening, I'm wondering if that doesn't happen again, where some of the more traditional, fundamental religious systems might come under challenge. I don't know. It'd be interesting to see. Now, for tomorrow, the sun is conjunct Jupiter, and that's worth its own podcast. So we will do that in the morning. Thank you so much for listening to this one. Hope it helps. We'll watch the whole thing unfold right here on the Fun Astrology Podcast. Have a good Thursday. Bye-bye. Thank you.